Idris saying, how do you think writing has shaped religion? Would Judaism have survived against the Babylonian gods without writing the Bible? No, it wouldn't. This is why they were so obsessed with writing stuff down. And this is why Jude this is why um oh you can't even say that Abrahamic people uh, the Israelites maybe I could say the children of Abraham this is why they became very very wise because they were so obsessed with saving their religion that unlike other people most other most other groups of people you had like the upper class knew, knew how to read and write but mo the vast majority of people didn't know how to read and write but with the Jews oh I said it again with the children of Abraham everybody like they are they had to learn because this is what meant of the savior the saving they were people without land and without an army they i think deborah correct me if i'm wrong but i think the jays were the first people that managed to save the religion even without a land and an army because the whole idea of moving people around was to eradicate their culture their people their religion their language and everything Okay. But they that stayed was, exiled together. Like, they managed to save. Yes. Like mm -hmm. that was the whole strategy. Like, okay, we need to get rid of these people. So they just move them from here to here and they mingle with everybody else and they will disappear. Their culture, their ethnicity, their way of life, their regard and everything will go away. And the Jays were like, we're not going to let that happen. <laughs> right? We can, And that's the first God that managed to get separated from the land. But before that, God, every god was tied to the land. The Persian god was for Persia. The Egyptian mm -hmm. gods were the, for for Egypt. The Roman gods were for Roman. Even so, like it was so tied to the land that when the Roman soldier went to Egypt, they're like, "Who do I pray to here? What are the gods of this land?" Right? But the Jays were like, "Oh, you guys move over here," and like, "We're taking our god with us." This was the first time that a god was separated from a land. Became, but they're it was so the, tied to their original land now. Yes, but for a while, like it, this is how they made it a global religion. It became a, it became oh, a mobile, okay. mobile god, right? So they managed to keep it. I mean, it's still, it's still not as independent from the land as eventually Christianity and Islam became. Mm -hmm. But it becomes became separate from the land way more than other religions at the time, right? They managed, they managed to keep their religion even though they were in Babylon. They were like. They were still like, our God is still alive. Our God is right here, even though we're not in Israel. Like, people were like, what the hell? Like, your God actually moves from the land and comes out. Like, they, that didn't. That was a unique concept at that time, right? So, but to, they needed to be able to write. The, you know, the, they were all over the planet, right? So they needed to communicate with each other. How do we practice? How do we pray? What is canon? What's not canon? What you know? They needed to write, like, how would they be able to, Idris, how would they be able to keep all the J's around the globe in check with what is their religion and what's not their religion if they couldn't write the stuff down? The letters that they exchanged with each other is like, he, they, there were thousands of letters between the main, their, their rabbis and before that, bef between the priests being exchanged with each other to make sure that everybody's on the same page with everything. None of this would have been possible if it wasn't for the writing. But very interesting. This is also interesting. Isn't it interesting? Yes. So I never thought Deborah, of it that way. Good. That's a very good point, though. About right. The first, and, like, separate it from the land. That's really, I can't think of anything else. So it, Judaism was revolutionary in that sense that they divorced God from the land for the first time. But God was still tied to a certain group of people, to a certain ethnicity. Mm -hmm. Right. But it was Christianity. So it became a global semi-global religion for the first time right rather than a religion for a certain it is still it wasn't a religion for a certain land but it was still a religion for a certain group of people right um but it was christianity who made the divorce complete so when originally christianity was a jewish cult right but then when the romans became christian now you had the first time a religion that was diverse, divorced from land and ethnicity. It was the first truly global religion. And Islam copied that, right? Mm -hmm. So now out of the four major religions in the world, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, and Hinduism, two of them are still ethno-religions because they're still tied to ethnicity, and two of them aren't, Islam and Christianity. 